How fortunate we are today to have the opportunity to speak with Captain Chuck Merkel, who is the Executive Director of the Pacific Fleet Submarine Museum. Well, thanks for inviting me here today. Wonderful to see you again. Yes, yes, great to be back. And you've been working very diligently with this submarine museum. Maybe you can share with the audience where we are in that. Okay, sure. Well, in January, after years of planning, we broke ground on a $20 million renovation of a, our museum and grounds. It's about a 15-month project. Uh, we're in the first phase. It will wrap up in July. And funding permitting will roll right into the second phase, which will be our museum. It'll uh, add 3,000 square feet to the museum and completely redo the mu museum interior. So we'll have three galleries, a uh, World War II gallery that talks about the submarine force in World War II, a Cold War gallery that talks about the submarine's contributions to the Cold War, and then we'll look to the current submarine force and the future of the submarine force in our final gallery. Well, the submarines, as you've been explaining, have, a, have always had a part in peace in our, you know, with our armed forces. Yes, so at World War II, uh, submarine force was only about 2% of our Navy. That small force sank 5 million tons of Japanese shipping. Over 60% of the merchant shipping that was sunk was sunk by submarines, and 30% of the Japanese warships were sunk, were sunk by submarines. But that uh, came at a tremendous price. We lost 52 of our submarines and 3,500 men. So this museum is meant not only to show history, but also the future, as that, you said. That's correct. What is the future for submarines? Well, our submarines are still a, a vital component of our Navy. The number one mission of our Navy is strategic deterrence, and the only force in the Navy that does that is our submarine force. So our, the Navy's in the process of replacing the Ohio-class ballistic missile submarine with the Columbia-class ballistic missile submarine. Those submarines have been in service since the early 80s, and they'll be retired over the next 10 years or so, even more than that. But we've got to have the new submarines online by about 2030 to provide the strategic deterrent that the current Ohio-class submarines do. I would imagine submarines themselves as vehicles have changed since the time you were a captain. Yes. Well, it's still, uh, I mean, from World War II, it was diesel submarines that they were really just small surface ships that could submerge for brief periods of time. They couldn't run their diesel engines underwater had to be on the surface. So underwater, they were strictly on their battery power, which was fairly limited. Nuclear power, which was in, developed in the early 50s with the Nautilus being the first submarine. So the nuclear power plant, that's really the enable that make, made them true submarines. So and that's- the future also has women on board. That's right? correct, <laughs> that's correct. So since about 2011, there've been women serving in our submarine force at sea and uh, they're starting to rise through the ranks and they're doing quite well. What was the most exciting part for you to be? I was always on fast attack submarines, so we were the ones that were out looking for the other, other uh, our potential enemies' forces to, to see what their capabilities were and to, to be ready to respond if we needed to do it. Those situations were always, could be very exciting and, and, and everything, but it was often, you know, it, we, we trained very hard to prepare for those missions and often our training was much more difficult. So it really said something that if you train hard and you prepare your crew and yourself, then the, the real thing went, went very smoothly. And it was by choice that you were there, that's, by volunteering. That's, that's correct, yeah. Submarine, our submarine force has always been a volunteer force. And uh, so to be assigned to a submarine, you have to be a volunteer. You have, most adjust and do just fine, some don't, and there's another place for them. Well, thank you for your leadership as a submarine mm -hmm. captain in the past and now with the Pacific Fleet Submarine Museum. Thank you very much, Lila. It's thank great you. to be here. Yeah, thank you. Mahalo and aloha to you for joining us in listening to my conversation with Captain Chuck Merkel, who is Executive Director for the Pacific Fleet Submarine Museum.